It's the Textination Week podcast. I'm Fred Fishkin. Welcome to the compilation of this week's Textination reports and more. Anchor and its Soundcore brand have jumped into the audio glasses business in a big way with Soundcore frames. The sound is delivered through speakers in the arms of the glasses and is impressive using what the company calls an open surround system. And there's real innovation in the design that lets you snap the arms into a wide range of frames, sunglasses or clear blue light filtering, and you can have prescription lenses made to fit too from other sources. They turn on when you put them on and off when they're removed. The frames feature touch and voice controls and will arrive in stores later this month for about $200. Besides music, the Soundcore frames work well with phone and video calls. It's a well-thought-out implementation of the audio glasses concept. Find more at soundcore.com. Whether it's in a shared office space, at school, or at home, those computer keyboards and mice can be major carriers of germs and viruses. But using some common disinfectants on them can sometimes cause damage to the devices. Kensington is making it easy to determine what is safe and what isn't, by making use of a wipe-down seal on products such as keyboards, mice, wrist pads, and cases. The company's Lisa Skydebor Schuler says that means they're safe with a variety of sanitizing products. And simple things like Clorox wipes or Lysol disinfectants, rubbing alcohol, hydrogen peroxide, all of those things are covered. Not all products have the wipe-down badge, so it pays to check. There's more at kensington.com. You can find useful tips on cleaning that work environment as well. What's next for your connected kitchen? A couple of entrepreneurs think a smart cutting board is a sharp idea. Tony Frick and his wife Alyssa have co-founded Block, B-L-O-K, and have surpassed their goal on Kickstarter to bring it to market. So Block is essentially the Peloton of the kitchen. Think a smart cutting board with an embedded digital display that you stream live and on-demand cooking classes led by celebrity chefs. Our app lets you order all the ingredients you need for those classes, and you can take these classes um, with your closed social network. Frick says the cutting board separates from the display for cleaning. The idea was born during the pandemic with the couple doing a lot more home cooking. You can find Block, BLOK, and Early Deals on Kickstarter. Blendjet is back with more designs in its portable blender line for the upcoming holiday season. The USB-C charged powerful Blendjet 2 can handle just about any kind of smoothie or chore on the go. The new designs look great too. Co-founder and CEO Ryan Pamplin is on a mission to promote healthier eating after a severe accident nearly claimed his life and way of living. He left the world of high-tech and VR to create Blendjet. So we've made convenient food healthy, but it doesn't seem like it. The, the marketing is not about health. Marketing is about convenience, and it's, it's getting people excited. And prompting knockoffs, too, which Paplin says is why the company doesn't sell on Amazon. They are in many stores and at Blendjet.com. How do you bring electric vehicles to all of the fleets out there? Ford is trying to tackle some of those issues, like those surrounding charging, with a new mobility studio partnership with New Lab. It will be based at Ford's Michigan Central Innovation Effort, where Roshni Shokar leads startup and entrepreneur engagement. And the announcement by Hertz that it is purchasing 100,000 electric vehicles is a wake-up call. It's a huge shift, and I mean, I think uh, fleets converting to EVs is really how we're going to get get to scale. That's how we're going to start to see a larger quantity of vehicles moving from, from gas-powered to EVs. And the hope is some of the startups Ford will be working with will help solve some of the difficult issues, like providing enough clean energy to charge all of the new EVs. Those are our reports for this week. You can find a full archive of reports and complete interviews at textination.com. Thanks for listening. Now this. It takes a lot of listening to build a better radio, and that's just what the folks at Sea Crane have done. Bob Crane and his crew, nestled among the rivers and tallest trees in the world in Fortuna, California, have made a habit of listening to their customers, and that's just what they've done in building the CC Skywave SSB, the Swiss Army knife of portable radios. For everyday listening to AM or FM in the yard or patio or on the nightstand, 
without having to drain a mobile phone battery, it's a great companion. But it is also a companion equipped for NOAA weather information and alerts that can be life-saving. You can listen to FEMA and Coast Guard transmissions, too. Beyond all of that, you can tune into shortwave signals from around the world. It's compact, easy to take with you, and built to last. The CC SkyWave SSB. Click on the link at textonation.com.